Yeah, really good workout. So I did back, back and um, biceps. Um, muscles are nice and gorge. My lat spread is popping. It's just a good workout. I'm in a good mood today anyways because I found out about getting the camper and stuff like that. So the trailer for the camper. So I'm excited guys. Can't wait to get going on it. In fact, I'm gonna skip cardio today so I can go to Home Depot and get that done and uh, get the supplies home and start building that because the trailer will be here in a week. So anyways, met this really cool bodybuilder here today. Didn't catch his name, um, but uh, he let me videotape his shoulder workout thing that he's doing. It was really cool. I'm going to use it for my shoulders. Came in from the shop. A little buddy missed me, huh? Well, you act like such a little baby out in the shop. I have to leave you in the house. And then Mr. Muggsy over here had surgery, doing better. But Muggsy's got to get on my... This is their spots. Kipper always has to sit here. And then Muggsy's got to be on the side right here. Kipper gets jealous. Huh? Don't you, Kip? <clears throat> when Muggsy had a surgery... Um, a couple days ago, like she snuck over here and laid her here. <laughs> Kipper was so upset about it. He's like, you can't be there. You can't be there. Don't be jealous. You know, I love it. You need a haircut, bro. You looking rough. You looking rough. Yeah, it's time for that summer do. Summer time for that summer do. Get away from my cheese. It's boy. All right, guys. Hope you having, hope you having a good night. Love y'all. Bye. Kipper, are you ready for a haircut? Don't be looking away. You know that you need a haircut. <laughs> You're complaining? What? You got all snot and everywhere all over your face. You need a haircut, bro. Got to fix your mohawk. It's all sticky. What? You need a haircut. You do. Muggsy, don't you need a haircut? Huh? What? If I feel better later, I'll do it, okay?
Okay, so what I'm thinking about right now as I'm plotting and planning is the position of these windows in that back room, mostly the bathroom. You're going to see a little bit later on, I'm going to switch, switch it around. A lot of work has been done right now and I'm actually going to take it apart and move those windows around to make everything fit better. But you'll see that later. For now, we're going to go ahead and start working on that interior wall where the shower wall is against that wall. A lot of walls in that sentence. But you get what I'm saying? We're going to start working on the interior walls now. So I can figure out exactly where the windows are going to go in the bathroom and that back wall.
So, as you saw, I redid this wall. Made it just a little bit longer. Um, and it was a little bit too tall for the ceiling with the, uh, the extra plywood I did in there. Not extra, the uh, whatever. It, it was just a little too tall. Um, and then you guys saw this. these walls are finished. They're not completely attached. I'm kind of waiting on that. Uh, windows going there, windows going there. Windows actually should be here tomorrow. I realize this window is the one that's bent here. Or, yeah, bent here is really uh, skewed. Like the whole, you can see the dip down right there. Look. So I think that's going to have to be replaced. I need to go to Home Depot and talk to them about that. Um, so the wall that I'm building over there is going right here by the bench. Um, and then, so I got all this screwed down and adjusted. The only thing that's not adjusted is the actual bench bench. That's not screwed down yet. Because, what's the reason why? Oh, because I gotta, I gotta paint the window inside the window and then I also have to um, do some type of trim. But I'm waiting to do the siding to do the trim on the inside of the windows. So, oh, I got the knobs. Um, I got the, the right screws and uh, I even got, um, what do they call them? They call them Air Force nuts. Um, ones that, that are have a nylon in them so they lock when you screw them down. I got those so they won't wobble off with the vibrations of the truck. What else? Um, this room, I'm really liking it. The wife just came in and loved it. That's important. Um, this isn't attachable either, if you remember. That way I can pull it out and um, finish up the... Oh, sorry, the light's bright. Sorry about that. Finish up the siding and the, um, the plywood and the, the vinyl. Man, I am in so much pain right now. I pushed a little bit too hard because... But I really like the camper. I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, yeah, I still got to do the two by three for the rafters and the uh, overhang. That's it. Let's call it a night. Turn some of these lights off over there. It's another cold one tonight. It's 32 degrees, 34 degrees. It's supposed to warm up, I think, by this weekend. We'll see. All right, guys, I need both my hands to pack up the rest of the stuff, but uh, I love you all. Be good to each other. Let me on my truck first. So it's another cold, nasty day here in Arctic, Minnesota. And I want you to get some work done real quick before uh, the wife and I go see the Avengers. I think. That's the plan. But the windows came. So, excited about that. You guys saw that I already framed those out. So, let's go see if they fit. No, I know they fit. Oh, gosh. Can't lift those up. I'm having problems with my elbow now. Lord, my body. My body just doesn't want to cooperate. Now i got to bring the propane tanks in the, in the shop, too. the shop too. So I'll just set the windows right there. Grab the other hand there. Yeah, it's better. One of them was bent, so you know, I was thinking I was only going to use three of these, but I'm going to use all four, I think. I showed you where they're going. For now, I'm going to use all four. But I should probably just order one more and then take the other one back to Home Depot. You know? One more. There you go. Alright, let's drive these over to the I'll be in touch with you guys in a sec.
And I'd really like to not have to have the, I'd like to have this open for the fresh air, but it's so cold out there. I'm just gonna have to put on the, um, whatchamacallit, is it on? It's on, where's the other ones at? We're gonna have to put on the heater it's, I mean, it's a good little heater for what's worth, but man, it's so loud. Um, I was listening to the recording that I made with the new cheapie. So far, I mean, I might, I think I might keep it. I think the SD card they, they gave quote unquote for free was a piece of junk. So I put a good one in there and those ones came out and actually the quality of the picture is like so crisp. So. I might keep it. We'll give it another try. We got a couple more weeks to decide before you can't send it back. So, um, what else? All the lights on. Everything's good to go. So I think today, um, I'm waiting for how you to sleep. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put the vinyl on there, and then I'm going to. Um, I think I might even just go ahead and flip it over and I'm going to insulate that. I'm going to put insulation in there. And the reason why I say that is because I kind of want the bathroom to be insulated. This is the wall for the bathroom where the shower is going. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'll flip it over after I put the vinyl on this side, I'll flip it over, put insulation in it and then put the plywood on top of it, glue it down, staple it. And then set it in there. And I'm out of two by twos again. So it's raining. Even though we go to town today, I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy plywood or not plywood. I do need to buy plywood too. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy the two by twos today. I might just go ahead and start um, or finish this two by two. Foundation construction. We'll see how much time I got once I get rolling here. Hear the rain? All right, guys. Let me get at it. Let me just set the camera. Yeah, that can I'm shaking is the 3M 90 proof, whatever it is, 90 strength. Uh, I think it's out of 100% um, spray glue, adhesive. It's really, really powerful. It's really strong. The trick is to spray it on there and let it let it sit for a minute. I'm even actually reading it right there to see how long you're supposed to let it sit. I think it's still it's tacky to the touch. Um, anyways, I found that since I didn't primer the walls, any of this plywood, it sticks a lot better if you use this 3M spray. I should have just primed the whole walls. If I could go back in time, I literally would put all the walls in, prime them like I did the ceiling. I feel like it'd be more waterproof and more um, water resistant. But this stuff is really strong too. It, it uh, caused it to stick really well.
let me explain my pattern to you guys real quick here. I've seen other um, carpenters do the same type pattern. The um, <clears throat> final pieces, you just start laying them out top to bottom. When you get to the bottom, you cut that last piece um, to fit. And then you take the rest of it that was cut off and you put it at the top. And then you start your pattern from there and you go down. You can see me doing that here. Um, some of the pieces either got broke or chipped and I had to I have to end up measuring some of them and cutting them. But you can see that the pattern remains the same. You'll see this next piece being put in. And I'm just going to cut the end off there. And then I should take that next piece. Excuse me, I should take that piece that I cut off there. And you'll see me put it at the top. Oh,